Hello everybody, welcome back to the Island Outdoors One channel and today we're going to look at another classic knife in the collection and uh, it's a gorgeous case knife, it's a case large folding hunter and this is the 2011 edition with stamina wood scales uh, you can see this is a big knife and it's a traditional non-locking slip joint with two blades uh, which I'll show you in a minute here but uh, uh, if you're interested in this knife, you can find it on Amazon for $60.98 with prime shipping. And like I said, it comes with jigged brown stamina wood handles. And what that means is it's real wool, uh, it's real wood rather, but it's impregnated with epoxy, I believe, to make it very stable and moisture and chemical resistant so you have the beauty of wood with the durability and stableness of uh, synthetic so that's very nice it's very a very handsome wood uh, rich brown color and the jigging pattern on that uh, I'm not sure what the name of the jigging pattern is but it is does provide good grip it feels nice uh, the blades on this are true sharp surgical stainless steel and I'll show you in a second well we have a clip blade and a skinner blade on this uh, this has a five and a quarter inch closed length and it weighs 7.5 ounces, so it's pretty hefty. And it comes with this very nice leather sheath. Very thick leather. Embossed with a... Uh, let me just say it says... Our guarantee since 18... 89 I believe that says on there and that must be Mr. Case himself WR Case and you can see it says Case on the, the flap double X with a nice snap closure and it has a cutout for your belt and it takes a fairly wide, it'll accept a fairly wide belt as you can tell and it is riveted at the top so that's a nice addition so uh, let's set that aside for the moment and uh, I'll back out a little bit or not okay let me show you the blades on this the main blade is a clip point blade made with a true sharp surgical stainless steel and from what I'm reading it is equivalent to bucks 420 HC stainless so it's a nice stainless steel takes a really sharp edge and it is rust resistant and uh, very nice a slight swedge on the top of the blade I don't know it's lit up a little bit right there just takes off the sharp edge same on the back side of the blade um, let's show you the blade tang here you can see it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dots. So I 
I believe this is a 2011 model. We can check Keith's numbering system with our X's and dots here, and we'll find out for sure. But case double X on the front of the main blade tang. Nothing on the reverse of that. Nice nail neck comes to a very acute point, as do most clip point blades. So you can get right in there and do some fine tasks with that. Your secondary blade on this knife is the Skinner blade, they call it. Kind of a drop point style blade. Or, well, not really. I guess the point doesn't drop at all on that, but you can see it has jimping on the front of that blade so you can choke up with your finger and get inside the cavity of whatever animal it is you're trying to to gut <laughs> and uh, you have some control with that blade up high by the nail nut. So that's a nice feature. Uh, this secondary Skinner blade is a full flat grind on this. It's not ho hollow ground. So that makes it a nice slicer. Very nice blade. And you can see it's a it's a large knife. And it's in the traditional knife pattern and feels really good in hand. Uh, just a gorgeous knife. So to have a big knife, you don't have to have a locking blade, but I mean, you do have to be aware that that blade will close if you have downward pressure on the back of the spine. But as long as you know how it works, it's a very safe knife. It has very good spring tension. There is no half stop on this, so it's closed to open in one motion. It's just a gorgeous knife. And that is very effective jimping. It, it's not sharp, but it definitely grabs your skin, so there's positive traction there. There's no sliding on it. And I'll we'll show you the tang of this blade. Made in USA, model 6265 in stainless steel. With a little grease. And nothing on the back, except a little grease. But, uh, yeah, wonderful knife. Wonderful knife. And uh, it is a folding hunter model, but you don't necessarily have to buy this specifically for a hunting knife. It is just a, a great knife that... It could be an everyday carry knife as long as you work in an environment where you're allowed to carry a larger folder. Uh, you check the restrictions in your state for blade length limits uh, so you don't get in trouble that way but if you're, you're legally allowed to carry a knife of this size it's just a wonderful knife. Great food prep knife where it's stainless steel. Uh, this will do about everything you want from it. Can you imagine how nice that would slice cheese or pepperoni or meat or steak or, or whatever? So, plus it it is a, a awesome hunting knife too if that's what you wanted it for. Uh, you can th carry it in your pocket, but it is pretty long, and you can see it's fairly wide gorgeous. Let's get a close-up of that. Uh, we have nickel silver bolsters on both ends and we have stainless steel springs sandwiched in between brass liners. Just beautiful. The camera doesn't do these case knives justice but please take my word that they are gorgeous. Um, Fit and finish on this knife seems to be spot on. As a matter of fact, I don't think uh, there's any. 
don't think there's any air gaps in the, uh, the springs. Sometimes if you hold it up to the light on some knives you'll see gaps of air or light shining through in certain spots where the knife didn't get pressed together fully. But not on this one. And the both knives are open in the open position. Everything is very flush, very well finished. And uh, I'm surprised this this isn't called uh, one of their pocket worn knives because there is no sharp edges on this. It's like they took the extra time to to pocket worn it to pocket worn it to make it pocket worn from the factory. But it doesn't claim to be so. It's just high quality American craftsmanship. And uh, I believe it's well worth the money. And uh, I, I'd like to see knives like this make a comeback. Uh, maybe not this particular model, but let me, let me show you a, a buck folder for comparison, size comparison. Just happen to have this one in my pocket. So here's a case, uh, a buck three blade Stockman. I believe it's the Cadet. And you can see this folding hunter dwarfs it. I mean, just an awesome knife. Um, you can get these folding hunters in uh, chrome vanadium, which is cases carbon steel versions, and uh, which you can easily sharpen those and supposedly get them sharper than the stainless steel. But whichever blade steel you choose, you have a winner here with this case folding hunter. So. A very, very nice knife. So I thank you for watching, and uh, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, tune in for my next episode when we'll take a look at this knife. It is the Victorinox Swiss Army Hunter Plus. So tune in and I'll show you more about that. See you then.